Come on, then. From Hell's heart you've summoned me forth, puny mortal. What twisted desires lurk in that little head of yours? What inventive ways are you going to make me your plaything? You haven't got any such desires? <laughs> Ooh, I'll coax them out of you, my darling. One way or another. You mortals just love some teasing, don't you? Oh, you really don't have any? <laughs> oh, you're being very insistent. You almost sound like you're telling the truth. In all my years of quenching mortal desires, you may be the most convincing liar I've ever seen. Bravo, puny mortal. I'll have to fashion you a medal. You're just lonely and need some company? Oh, don't play with me, mortal. I know you're just pretending. <sighs> Ugh. Look, just cut the act. You're very insistent, more so than most, but I'm too tired to play along anymore. I know how this game goes. Of course you've got dark desires. You're human. Do you think I was born yesterday? Like I'm some young little hatchling who's just met her first mortal? I've seen this play out too many times. Ugh, shut up. Shut your mouth. I, I don't care how many times you say it. A lie is still a lie. Mm, this innocent little lamb routine can end any time, you know? Take off your mask. Go on, give me orders. Whatever you're gonna do, whatever you're gonna inflict on me, just hurry up and get it done. Tell me what you want. What? <laughs> Say that again. Intimacy? <laughs> That's what you're calling it, huh? That's your creative little rebranding? Come on, don't sugarcoat this while moonlight's wasting. Come on, you twisted freak. I know you want to hurt me. I know you do. It doesn't matter how loudly I scream in protest or, or how much my throat burns from begging. That just adds to the excitement, doesn't it? You humans always want to hurt me. So come on then, out with it. Where are the chains, huh? The hot coals, the, the knives, the pliers. What wicked little tortures have you got waiting for me? Come on, I know you're hiding them somewhere. Oh, of course you are. Tell me what you want. You want to hold me? <laughs> In your arms? Because you're lonely? No. <laughs> Don't you dare do this to me, you, you filthy little rodent. Don't you dare get my hopes up. I, I want to believe you, I really do, but I just don't know. Your eyes look honest. Your spirit, it, it feels honest too, but... Oh, this could just be another sick joke you animals like to play. You'd like me to sit beside you? Uh... Uh, on your bed? Well, uh, pull up your blankets first. Let me see underneath them so I can check you aren't hiding something. I want to believe you, but I just... I can never be sure. <sighs> Thank you. If you're lying to me, I'm going to rain hell on you personally. You can count on that. Um. <sighs> okay. Shall I sit here? Okay. I've followed your orders, and I'm here now. What do you want? Move slowly and carefully. If I get a hint that this is some sick game that you still want to hurt me, I, I'm breaking the contract early. I don't care what the Mother Superior has to say. She can punish me all she wants. 
you you want to just hold me close to you um uh okay i get it like uh like this <sighs> i i've never felt a human touch so gentle yeah you aren't digging your nails into my skin. You, you aren't crushing the air out of my lungs. <sighs> it feels like a gentle breeze on my back. It feels <laughs> nice. Whenever I get a morsel of a good dream, I, I've always imagined what this feels like. I could never really picture it. It was. It was like trying to imagine a new color or or a smell you'd never sensed. Ah, oh, no fleeting dream could ever prepare me for this. You're stroking your fingers down my back so gently. I feel <laughs> safe. Ah, oh, can you Keep going? Don't, don't go any faster. Do exactly as I say. Uh, even if you are lying, even if this is all some pretense to hurt me, I, huh, I'm kind of happy I managed to get this moment. Oh, huh. What? What did you just say? <laughs> Can you stroke my hair? No, 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 no. I'm, I'm not angry at your question. It's just that you... You ask for my permission. Nobody ever thinks of my consent. They just... They just... Well, they just... Um... <clears throat> yes. Please, go ahead. I, uh, I give you permission. <laughs> I gave you permission. Oh, Baphomet on a bicycle, that feels good. <laughs> uh, sorry, that really surprised me. Your fingers feel nice. <laughs> yeah, sorry, it's, it's a common phrase in hell. We, we say it all the time. <laughs> no, not to my knowledge. I, I've never actually seen Lord Baphomet on a bicycle before. Maybe he's insecure about it? <laughs> he, he could be. He rarely gives public appearances. He, he spends most of his time in the Infernal Palace. Maybe he wants peace and quiet to practice his unicycle. Wait, <laughs> no, 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 I, I meant bicycle. Oh, now I can't get that image out of my head. <laughs> One of the seven lords of hell, wobbling on a tightrope on his unicycle, dressed like a clown. You'd buy tickets to see that? Oh, I'd happily pay for both our tickets. Oh. Mm -hmm. You'd like to lie down? Oh, okay, I, I don't see an issue with that. Oh, yeah, mind the horns, they're, uh... A little sharp. <laughs> mm. Somehow this is even better than before. You're giving off such a warm glow. This is a kind of tenderness that seems alien to me. Heat has always meant burning agony. But this is just... comforting. Ah, um, please don't touch my tail like that. It's it's very sensitive. Uh, I, I'm still struggling to take this all in. You actually listen to me. I know miracles are the man upstairs job, but I, I think I've just had my first one. It's ironic, I know. <laughs> yes, even more miraculous than using a pentagram to summon a demon, if you can imagine it. 
<laughs> Sorry. What did you say? Oh, I was too busy melting away to listen. <laughs> Ah, yeah, uh, about the morsels of dreams I'd get. I see. Yeah, well, succubi are made to be perfect sensual creatures. Because of that, we feel everything far more intensely. Pleasure and lust, of course, but also pain and anger. Even physical touch. So... So when the other humans would hurt me, I... I am. Um... No, no, it's it's okay. I I don't want to stop. It's the first time I've been able to vent my feelings. I I'd like to keep going. When the other humans would hurt me, it it wasn't just annoying or a nuisance. It was pain that I can't describe. Seeing their gleeful smiles would only make it sting harder. That torment wouldn't stop after my sessions were finished. It would chase me into my dreams. I catch only morsels of good dreams because the rest are cruel nightmares. They reminded me of what's waiting the next time I get summoned. All, well, until I met you. <laughs> Uh, I'm gonna turn the tables here. This time, I have a request for you. While, uh... <laughs> while you're stroking my hair, could you... hold my hand? Oh. Yes, that's okay. Thank you for checking to make sure... Oh, that's the good stuff. I've always wondered what this feels like. Hmm. Oh, wait, please don't stop. Where are you moving your hand? Oh, a fur blanket? Oh, what sorcery is this? I didn't think this could get any better, but you're full to the brim with surprises. You trickster. <laughs> oh, it is winter for you mortals, I suppose. Huh. That's right. I, I've heard talk of earthly weather from other succubi. The girls would gush about snow and sunsets together. I was always too frightened or in too much pain to notice. Now I can. Rain sounds far better than I imagined. <laughs> You'd like us to fall asleep like this? That sounds like an excellent idea. No complaints from me. I've never wanted to share this before, especially not with a mortal, but my name is Io. What's yours? That's a wonderful name. Even before meeting you, I've always liked human names. Oh, I, uh, I've got a secret to tell you, too. Um, when you summon a succubus, um, the contract actually lasts for 24 hours. But shh, that's an industry secret. <laughs> Summoning circles are written in dark speech, so humans can't read them. Usually we just lie to our summoners a little bit. Oh, I'm sorry, I can only leave hell for an hour. It's part of the rules, I'm afraid. Uh, sometimes we don't, though. If we're having a good time, we keep quiet and stay a little longer. Uh, 
I... I could spend the full 24 hours with you. If you'd like. Oh, that sounds perfect. I'd like that too. When we awaken tomorrow, I'll place my sigil on your arm. No, 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 it's, it's okay. There's no need to be afraid. It's, it's painless and only you can see it. Simply press it to summon me whenever you'd like. I'd, I'd gladly have some intimacy with you again. <laughs> uh, will I finally get to dream? Yes, I hope so too. I, I don't see why not. I, I'm glad I took a chance. I, I'm glad I took a chance and believed you. You weren't lying after all. Uh, good night, puny mortal. <laughs> I'll see you in the morning. Mm. Mm. You're home, puny mortal. <laughs> you summon me almost every day now, so I've got a pretty good grasp of your schedule. I think it's Friday now, so the weekend is about to start, right? Mm, I thought so. If you're looking for a secretary, we could set up an interview next week. <laughs> I know my resume is a little empty, but isn't Beast of Hellfire or something? No, I haven't got a college education, but come on. I'm 2,000 years old. With age comes wisdom. I still don't know how the toaster works. Look, I, I'm telling you, it's magic. It has to be magic. It's a metal box, you connect it to the wall, then it burns bread somehow. Even you can't explain it. You just shrug it off and say, I don't know, I guess it's electricity. But that's true? Oh. oh, of course, that's so helpful. The box heats the bread with lightning. There we go. Oh, it all makes sense now. <laughs> Look, my expertise includes lust and lovemaking. Toasters are out of the question. You summoned a succubus, not a mechanic. Oh, yes, that's right. When you summoned me last, which was yesterday, <laughs> You said you had a surprise for me. Well, come on then. What is it? A bath? Oh, yes, I've heard about those from other succubi. They sound amazing. Warm water, bubbles. It's even shaped like a bed. You want to bathe together? Huh, wait, um... Oh, no, 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 we can't do that. I'm, I'm sorry. No, we can't. I just, I can't. N no, of course, I, I know that. I, I can tell you anything, and you'll never force me to do something, but I just, I don't feel comfortable with you seeing me. I'm not sure. It, it feels so odd to say it's, Never been an issue before. For long centuries, I completely stopped caring about my appearance. I, I got scars and burns and never cared at all. The pain was too unbearable to give a damn about my looks. Ah, uh, pardon the pun. <laughs> but now, I've started caring because... Because you care. Oh, I just know it. You, you'd be disgusted if you saw my scars. Rightly so, you deserve to be. I'm, I'm a succubus, after all. It's my job to look perfect. I... I don't have to be perfect. You like me as I am. Huh. You, uh... 
you've really got away with words, huh? No, I, I know we haven't got to do this, but I really want to. I would love to have this moment. I'm, I'm just worried about how you'll see me. Even in the fleeting good dreams I'd get, I, I never imagined I'd feel this close to a human. I, I never want this to end, especially because of me. Oh, my scars won't bother you. I, I know you really mean that, but you haven't seen them yet. <sighs> okay, I'll, I'll do it. Can we, can we take things slowly first? I, I want you to do exactly as I say, okay? Thank you. You've always been understanding. I'll, uh, I'll, I'll go get undressed in the bathroom. already run the bath. There are bubbles and everything. <gasps> There's a rubber duck. Oh, if heaven hasn't got rubber ducks, I'm not interested. <sighs> okay. Hmm. Hmm. I'm ready. I've got one of your bath towels around me. C come in. Close the door behind you, please. Okay, close your eyes, too. Uh, Keep them closed for a moment. Ow, that's boiling hot. Did you pour magma into this thing? No. Wait. Wait a second. Wait. Huh? Oh, there we go. Oh, I take it back. This is just right. Now, uh... Now you get undressed and get inside, but keep your eyes closed. I, I'd like you to sit behind me. Well, well I don't know how. You, use echolocation like a dolphin or something. <laughs> don't slip or you'll break something, not just the bath. Huh. You're sitting quite snugly behind me, but the bath is small, so I understand. Make sure your eyes are closed, remember? Uh, can, can you give me your hands, please? I'll, I'll put them on my stomach. Um, I've got little scars all over my arms and legs, but the biggest one is on my stomach. I, I just want you to feel it first. Succubi are meant to be robust so they can endure the more, um, extreme summoners. The wounds heal in seconds, but the scars remain. Whenever you summon me, I make sure to hide them so you can't see them, especially that one. Okay. Okay. Oh. You're always so gentle with me. <laughs> there's, there's a dark part of my mind that always says you'll hurt me, just like the others did. Still, even after all you've said and done, that dark voice says you'll be gentle at first, but eventually hurt me. And you never do. I... I'm sorry I keep having those thoughts, but it's difficult to stop them. For moments like this, though, I'll always keep trying. So, um... Uh, <laughs> what, uh, what do you think? Is everything okay? Is something wrong? I mean, I'll never refuse a hug, but what's the matter? Oh, no, no, wait. You, you've opened your eyes. You... you... 
You like me too much for scars to make a difference? Really? You really do like me as I am? Oh, I can't believe it. I, I really can't. I, I'm not often speechless, but I've spent so long dreading this moment. While I'm waiting for you to summon me again, I've pinched my scar tissue and cried, wishing I would just look better. I was convinced you'd run away, never, never summon me again, or, or call me ugly or grotesque, or... But here you are. Oh. I love you. You... You love me too? Oh, that's the first time you've said it. I... I think I've always known it, but... Can you... Can you say it again? Again? <laughs> and... and again? Oh, oh, my lovely mortal. Hold me tight and never, ever let me go. <laughs> oh, well, perhaps not never. I'll get hungry eventually, but... <laughs> for a little while. Oh, it turns out baths are everything I hoped they'd be. These fluffy clouds of bubbles, the haze of steam, this lovely warm water on my skin. My beloved human. And the rubber duck. Oh, my beloved rubber duck. <laughs> no, no, please don't. That really tickles. You're kissing right along my neck and I'm gonna start kicking. <laughs> the water will get everywhere. What, what was that? You're kissing my scars better. Oh, <laughs> okay. Well, um, you can keep going then, if you'd like. Hmm. <sighs> you know, all my life, I've only known pain from other humans. For centuries, I, I wondered why I bothered to keep going. This is why. Moments like this. This was worth the wait. Oh, I just remembered something. Um, when you summoned another succubus before, I'm, I'm happy it was Lady Tiamat. The Mother Superior. She's lovely, but she scares me. <laughs> I, I don't dislike her, but she's just so wise and powerful that I get a little nervous. Every succubus dreams to be like her. Her ethereal grace, this untouchable confidence she has, but under all that, I, I can see she's lonely. The succubi can read the souls of others, including other succubi. So I think she needed that. Oh, of course. I, I don't mind if you summon her again. I, I think she needs it as much as you do. Oh, oh, that was perfect. We should definitely add a bath to our weekly routine. See, I'm already a good secretary, and I haven't even had the interview. <laughs> Wait, what? The bath wasn't the only surprise. Well, go on. Tell me, tell me, tell me. <gasps> you got me pajamas? Oh, I'm sorry. Excuse me while I just die for a second. <laughs> oh my goodness, they're so cute. They feel so soft, too. Ducks! They've got little baby ducks all over them. Oh, I adore them! I must try them on. Oh, I feel like I'm getting hugged by one giant downy duck. Hmm. <laughs> okay, I, I realize that sounds quite startling, but trust me, it feels amazing. <laughs> oh, and they're baggy too, just how I like them. Come on, let's go cuddle on your bed. Oh, that's it. 
a thick fuzzy blanket, one hand playing with my hair and the other holding my hand. Oh, it's raining. Mm. I've grown to love the sound of rain. It's so soothing. Hmm. I think, I think I've finally found my home, my lovely mortal. Good night, <laughs> as always. I'll see you in the morning. Mm-hmm.